Hey guys, quick walkthrough of the watercolor overlays. I created these to um, make a painterly feel to my um, fine art images. So they're watercolor um, on paper turned into overlays. And you'll use them in soft light mode, hard light, whatever you prefer. But when you, if you look here, I'm going to zoom in for you. You can see how it adds texture to the image. Um, but also it will add color depending on um, your blend mode. And then you also want to change and mess with the, um, the blend mode and the opacity. So you can see here. That's a lot, but if I just want a, a little to kind of make it look like a storybook feel, I can bring down the opacity. And you can also add masks to these and just brush it off your person if you don't want the texture on them. So color of the overlay will also impact the image. So um, you can see where it's lighter, it creates more light. Um, I like the way that this one flows with the light of the sun. So keep in mind that you can also change the placement of these. So you could flip it if, if the lighter side's on the other side for you. And again, you can, soft light's my go-to, but you can also use other blend modes. There's hard light, there's overlay, which gives like a, it, you'd have to bring the opacity down pretty pretty far depending on how um, light the image or the uh, watercolor overlay is. And here's another good example of how the color of the overlay could impact your image. If you don't like that, but you like the texture, you can also add a hue saturation layer to it and hit this button here to clip it. And you can change, if you look at her hair especially, you can, you can change the tone of your overlay and see how it messes with your image or mixes with your image. And then you can also just take the tone away completely and just go for texture. Here's another. And again, zooming in, you can see it gives you that storybook page feel with the texture. And then it gives a different color, a different light feel. They're one of my absolute favorites to use for my storybook images. And again, something like this, I would definitely snap um, a hue saturation layer to it. And I would probably take the saturation down and I would also move the saturation more towards the orangey yellows and not have the, the pinks that were originally present. And bring the opacity down. And then I would also just make sure I don't like the other blend modes that you can see here that creates a super storybook feel. It's a lot darker, um, but you can see the, the, the edges of the watercolor. It kind of lifts the shadows, this one does. And then this one, last but not least, this one blends really well because it has that that cyan and yellow and turquoise um, warm so and it kind of changes the tone but look at her hair you see how it brings it all together I really like that one so here they are the watercolor overlays they add the texture they add a storybook feel um, they can also add color and change the uh, lighting appearance of your images mess with the blend modes mess with opacity and you can change color as well um, and enjoy until next time Stay enchanted.